Well, welcome to the workbench of garbage. We're going to make a pinhole camera today using a body cap. This is a Canon generic body cap. Prefer the generic ones because they've got a nice smooth face to them. No um, embossed writing on it. This is a <clears throat> center finder. It's kind of a useful tool for finding center on a lot of pieces. So you'd take your piece and set it in there and the line to find center. I'm going to just use a, uh, I want a fairly fine line to find. So I'm going to use a T-pen. See how that works. Let's see if we can mark that. Let's see if we get an initial line in there. See that? And you lay it perpendicular to that initial line, 90 degrees ish. And you make a second mark. And now you have center, located center. So from there, we need to probably do a, a center punch on there. I don't know where my center punch is. That's pretty typical. Let's see. No, that's not going to work either. <clears throat> so, what we can do is just take our uh, fine drill bit, very fine drill bit, from the drill index. We'll take the smallest one. This one looks to be uh, 1 16th. And you're going to want to look to put that dead center Just give it a little twist by hand first. And there we have center started. <clears throat> I'm just going to run that through really quickly. Don't drill your fingers. Okay. Let's put that back. Um, you can use a regular drill bit um, to step up to your larger size. Uh, I'm going to be using a step bit. These are um, available from uh, lots of different stores, but also um, Harbor Freight. If you have a Harbor Freight nearby, that's a good option. They've usually got these in a, in a set. And these um, are typically marked in here. I know it's hard to see in the light, um, but they're typically marked with different diameters so you can know how far you're going uh, and where to step to. So um, I'm going to try to step down to uh, a little under three quarters of an inch. Um, Let's see, what do I have? We might try the second step here. 35, 60 force. That seems like a fairly generically random number. Again, <clears throat> don't drill your finger. Put yourself in center on there. There's through our first step. I just want to clean up some of this plastic before it goes everywhere. <clears throat> and actually what I should do is go to our second speed on the drill. Okay, there's our second step. Let me clean that up. There we go. Makes for a, a really pretty clean hole. Uh, even the backside, we can even just touch that lightly if you really wanted to with the bit by hand. 
and that would do a pretty good job of cleaning up. So what did I say? Am I through that step? One more step. Okay. That is punched through, fairly well cleaned up. And sorry about that. As I mentioned, you can take this drill bit from the back side. Just set that in there and just very gently. Very gently. Give that a twist, and then I'll clean off any burr <clears throat> that was existing. And now we have a cleaned up inside edge and a nice clean outside edge. Uh, the next step is to get some aluminum, and uh, I'm working on that as we speak. So let me pause here for a bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm more caffeinated and um, take your aluminum can and definitely want to rinse that out ahead of time it will be sticky and gross and let's not do that so um, this might be a little overkill you can probably use scissors for this but uh, you know why not use a knife that I made top piece there now be very careful with this edge because it can be quite sharp let's see how these do okay and we'll just take a uh, we're going to cut a strip that's just a little bit wider than what our hole was. And we bend that out. And trim that off. <laughs> and we've got a little strip of aluminum. Now, um, the key here is making sure that's good and clean. Let me wipe that off a bit. Still dry or still wet from the, the water I cleaned it with. And then um, we might want to take a piece of wood here and put my scissors away. hammering out a couple of those coarse edges but we really we shouldn't uh, have to worry about those too much so there we go nice flat piece of aluminum I guess I do still want my scissors to trim that up again we're going to take a piece that lays over top of the uh, the hole there and uh, we can clean up the edges here just a bit but for the most part uh, it's all going to be covered up by tape so it doesn't really matter Okay, so now we have a tiny piece that will go over top and get taped down. <clears throat> the next step here is to uh, be able to successfully put a tiny, tiny, tiny hole in the middle of that. 
So I'm just kind of by finger here just flattening out these edges a little bit just so it lays flat inside the cap. <coughs> I'm going to take that uh, same T-pen I used before and just see if we can put the tiniest little punch there in the middle of that. Boy, that's, uh, that's small. Does it let light through? Boy, it does, but it might be a bit small yet. All right. I gave it just the tiniest bit more. Sorry, we'll get to focus here. So that's going to create a rough side in the back edge, too. And... Um, <clears throat> we might be able to flatten that back out with the pin in the hole. But we can also take a um, fine piece of sandpaper or um, even a sanding block. Try to clean that up. Again, I'm just going to touch the tip of that pen in the original base. Well, we'll see how it works. It might not be uh, as small as I would like. I just lost my pen. That's all right. So, now we were going to want to take this guy and center that hole. In the center of the hole we made in the cap. And tape it down. Uh, black electrical tape would probably work here. Um, I prefer gaffer tape. Gaffer is... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, often used by stage companies. It looks a lot like duct tape, um, but it's more cloth-based. Um, I think it's a better option here. So let me get a little piece of this off. And we'll cut a few strips for it. Gaffer tape normally tears pretty well, too, on its own, which is why it's uh, so handy, but uh, it does cut. It's just, it's so sticky. It's, um, I think, stickier than duct tape. As you can see, even a good pair of scissors does not want to go through it easily. Prep a couple of these here. Okay. Grease, there we go. So again, <clears throat> we'll find center for that hole. Try to hold it. And then come on the back side and get it lined up into place. Yeah, 
and a couple more pieces and the other thing you can do after you've gotten that secured and gotten it well taped down is um, come back with a, a black marker on the remainder of the aluminum and that will just help reduce some of the internal reflections um, that the aluminum may cause so we'll do that here in a bit too Um, you could use super glue, I suppose, on this, but um, it's fairly permanent, and super glue has tendencies to off gas some pretty nasty things. So I don't know that it would be my first choice. <clears throat> Gaffer tape gives you some option here to redo it, rework it if you need to, and not make a total mess of the cap. Okay, so that's secured. Now, uh, let's see if I've got a good sharpie here that still works. You take this edge. careful around your hole all right and there we go we have a completed pinhole cap um, now we can just go take some test shots on a DSLR that can give you an indication of how uh, exposure might work and then if you wanted to transfer that over to say a Canon film camera you could do that as well so thanks a lot good luck